percent. Run. The Diablo 4 open beta allowed tons of players to finally go hands-on with the upcoming Blizzard title. Fans of the highly anticipated RPG got the chance to try out the game for themselves, and many are loving what they are playing. However, there have been some concerns raised as well. So with the release only a couple of months away, let's dive into the discussion and take a look at what players loved and didn't love after their time with the open beta. The immediate downside to playing a game before its full release is that there is always the possibility of bugs interfering with player experience. Unfortunately, this is true of full release titles as well. But with Blizzard being well known for its polish, players are worried by the sheer number of technical issues present in Diablo 4's open beta. Many players have reported numerous bugs, like invisible walls for example, that are encountered in most areas of the game. In severe cases, players were even seeing multiple game crashes across the beta's window. Likewise, the title appears to struggle during peak playtimes, which could indicate a rocky launch come June 6th. Obviously, it is still early on, and the devs have a good couple of months to correct these problems. But many Diablo fans remember the horrid state of Diablo 3 when it launched back in 2012. Let's hope Blizzard doesn't repeat those mistakes with Diablo 4. Diablo as a franchise has always been about loot. Items are a huge part of the motivational force for players moving through the world and slaying demons. And unfortunately, players have reported some issues with the way Blizzard is handling itemization in Diablo 4. Many fans believe the drop rates are far too high. This cheapens the feeling of satisfaction when a really good piece of loot does drop since there is currently an overabundance of loot dropping from slayed enemies. And with a higher amount of loot, players have to spend more time offloading it and less time slaying demons. Other than drop rates, players are finding issues with comparing items, as the UI fails to clearly demonstrate which item is stronger. While some fans may be criticising certain aspects of the UI too harshly, many players believe the comparison feature is something that absolutely needs to be streamlined. Speaking of streamlined, players feel the transmog system is far too complicated. Transmogrification, or transmog, is the process of applying the stats of one piece of gear to the appearance of another. It allows for greater amounts of customization, and players are thankful it is here in Diablo 4. However, the process of transmogrifying gear currently requires the player to salvage that piece of gear before they can transmog it. Many fans feel this is overly cumbersome and that the developers should streamline the process for the full release. A core part of any video game is balancing the force of enemies with the power of the players. While Diablo has seen different levels of power fantasy across its previous titles, Diablo 4 is currently being met with criticisms by fans over the state of the game's balance. One area where this is evident is in world boss encounters. These boss fights see multiple players all join up within the open world to take on a massive foe. While the fights themselves have been well received, players have raised concerns over the balance of these fights. Many beta players reported that low level players are entering world boss encounters among other higher level players and then being met with defeat as they are unable to match the power of their fellow demon slayers. This undercuts the epic feeling Blizzard is hoping to achieve with these encounters, since some players do not realise they are under leveled until it's too late. Furthermore, the encounters have a limited amount of players. So having a lower level player take up one of those slots means the overall power level of the party of players is reduced. And this makes the fights even harder for those who are properly leveled. Hopefully, this is an issue that Blizzard's devs are keen to correct. On the topic of balance, two classes were available to play in the most recent beta, Druid and Necromancer. While many fans of the series enjoyed seeing the return of the Druid, Unfortunately, the class suffered from balance issues as players who chose the shape-shifting, nature-loving class were struggling even in areas they were properly leveled for. On the other hand, the Necromancer class currently has the opposite problem. 
Players who choose to become Lords of the Undead were experiencing a fairly easy time against foes that equally leveled Druids would struggle against. Again, there's still time though for the devs to tweak and alter the game's balance, according to beta players' feedback. Diablo has always had a stellar presentation in its cinematics and cutscenes. The cinematic team has already flexed their skill with multiple Diablo 4 trailers that have blown fans away with their epic scale. However, the narrative has never been a main focus of the franchise, and many players love Diablo for its gameplay primarily. Players who hopped into the beta were able to see how the story side of this upcoming title fares in a franchise that, while delivering expertly crafted cinematics, has never really put the plot at the forefront of its gaming experience. Many fans have expressed high praise for Diablo 4's storytelling within the beta. Players feel that Blizzard has spent a lot more time crafting an interesting story and then executing it with phenomenal dialogue and cutscenes. But fans who are playing Diablo 4 for its tried and tested demon killing gameplay and not to experience a story are disappointed that there are currently no options for skipping dialogue or cutscenes. Again, many are praising the overall quality of the story's execution, but narrative is not for everyone, and some players just want to fight demons and explore the open world. A skip feature has existed in previous titles though, so it's a good bet that Blizzard will implement it for the game's full release. Many fans of the Diablo series were a bit burnt by the third outing's departure from the series' oppressive atmosphere and tone. Back in Diablo 2, the gameplay was slower and more methodical, with horror elements utilised to sell the player on the dreary state of Sanctuary. Diablo 3, in its attempts to appeal to a more mainstream audience, gave players way more power and ultimately increased the game's pacing. Beyond gameplay, Diablo 3 also lightened the mood and atmosphere with more colour and saturation. Well, fans who played the beta are excited to say that Diablo 4 is a return to the series' roots. It carries more of the second game's DNA than it does the third, with ample darkness and an oppressively dreary mood. The new settings are far more dark and brooding than the previous games. The gameplay also reflects this return to horror by slowing down the pacing from Diablo 3 and allowing the player to be genuinely frightened by the hordes of bloodthirsty demons. Diablo 4's release date is rapidly approaching, but with players feeling overall positive about their experience with the beta, those remaining issues should be fixable by the game's full release. The game is shaping up to be a marriage of classic Diablo with modern day RPG flourishes that keep the series' mythos intact. Let's hope it achieves just that when players get to experience the full game on June 6th.